just want folks to be informed about their rights, what they should do uh, as it relates to these photo enforcement citations, because we all know that you're getting a ton of them. Um, so by design, uh, again, not to increase safety, but to increase revenue. I think all of us are pretty much aware of that at this point. And for those of y'all who don't know, Mike Lotfi is uh, behind the camera here. So in his capacity as my legislative assistant, we're trying to get the word out about some legislation that uh, we have passed this last year. Um, actually, it was just passed uh, this previous month, um, and we are here to explain about that and to try to be open and available for questions that you may have related to photo enforcement citations. So many of you all know that over the last couple of years, uh, I've been very vocal in my opposition to the process of photo enforcement here in the state of Tennessee, and literally, I have accumulated a, uh, a whole file folder full of photo enforcement citations from different towns all across specifically Northwest Tennessee, but uh, I want everyone to know specifically uh, what to do with this right here. When you receive this in the mail, what is it that you're supposed to do once you receive one of these citations? Well, let's just start the process by going to the mailbox. So we go to the mailbox, what do we have? Well, it looks as if there is a first class uh, mailer that has been sent to us. We open that up. And inside, we find this. This is a, a, a photo enforcement citation that I have received personally. So I'm not talking about this in the theoretical realm. This is Andy Holt in his personal capacity. I've received numerous photo enforcement citations. Well, what do you do? Well, you look this over and you say, well, it's a notice of violation. It tells me when and where I supposedly um, was the driver of this vehicle. Well, again, there's nothing here definitively that says that this was Andy Holt. For all practical purposes, my dog could have stolen my truck that day and been driving it around. So, item one. Again, first class mail, nothing that's certified by any means. Nobody knows that I even received that citation. Second time around, what do I get? Well, it looks like a delinquent notice of violation. Okay, so they're reminding me, hey, 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 you know what? You violated the law in their opinion. Okay. Well, I get this notice of violation. It says, uh, you know what, I've got, to, I've got to pay this or else. Carefully worded to be very coercive and to be very intimidating. Well, you know what, a couple days later, maybe even a week later, two weeks later, I get yet another notice in the, in the mail. This time it is a notice of unpaid civil penalty. And it's from Linebarger, Goggin, Blaine, and Sampson, LLP, which looks like an attorney's firm somewhere all the way down in San Antonio, Texas, okay? That's number three. Number four here, I get the second notice of unpaid civil penalty. You know what happens after that? This, nothing. I wanna be real clear. The only power that these camera companies have is their coercive words and things that they want to intimidate you with. There is nothing here that's enforceable. There is nothing here that anything can affect your credit score. It can't affect your driver's license points. It cannot affect your insurance rates because this is not a real citation. A real citation is given by an officer of the law. A real citation is a criminal penalty. This is a non-moving civil violation. My suggestion is this right here. That's kind of what I think about these items and what I think that everyone should do when you receive one. So that's my personal opinion. Maybe we should get some water on that. So what I want you all to know is that as time goes on, and I know it's hard for you to see this, but if you'll notice, a new statement has been added to all photo enforcement citations. And what that says is that Non-payment of this notice cannot adversely affect your credit score or report, driver's license, or automotive insurance rates. So what I've told you for the last three years is now printed on the citations themselves. Again, my suggestion is throw them in the trash, burn them, do whatever you want to dispel these notions that you are now subject to pay this penalty plus all the other ensuing documents that they send talking about delinquent payments and everything else throw them away. But to be very specific, now this 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 new citation, now some of these cities are now printing on here that payment is required by law. That's a lie. 
And the reason that we can say that definitively is because, guess what, you're not required to pay something unless you've been convicted of it. So that's one of the basic problems that I have with photo enforcement is the fact that, you know what, it is guilt until proven innocence. So again, I think there is a, another clear reason to just go ahead and when you get these, this is the suggestion that I have. So um, with that, uh, I'd like to say thanks for all those who have tuned in uh, and uh, in the, in the spirit of liberty, again, grow crops, not government. Uh, Andy Holt signing off. Thank you very much. We'll answer any questions that you may have.